Hello everybody, we are back on Reddit and today we're going to be checking out a subreddit called Dog Free. So I actually found this uh, subreddit thanks to the official podcast and uh, I'm completely astounded by some of the shit that I've read. I pretty much just went through to the newest stuff that they have, I think posted in the last couple days and some of the shit that they that they say is, is just outrageous. So for those of you who don't know, Dog Free is for a subreddit of people who hate dogs. And it kind of ranges from like people who, you know, maybe they were traumatized as a child. Maybe they have a reason for not liking dogs. They were scarred or something to complete a psychopath maniacs who fucking think dogs are, are fucking Nazis. Like not even joking. I think that's one of the posts I have here. Someone calling dogs Nazis. It's just some weird shit, and I've compiled some posts from Reddit, and I don't know, I'm just gonna go over them. I'm convinced there's a dog toxoplasmosis. There's really no way, better way to explain the disconnect between dog nutters and common sense. Is there someone in here who would actually research something like this? If you find it, maybe you can name it. So I actually went ahead and looked up what toxoplasmosis meant, because I had no idea. But uh, it's a parasite that can be found in cat feces, apparently. And hence, this is why this person is like, oh, there's dog toxoplasmosis. So something you're going to notice about this subreddit is that they not only have a problem with uh, uh, dogs in general, but also the dog owners. And they seem to like to call them dog nutters. Uh, But basically what this person is saying is that people who own dogs get some type of uh, disease or some parasite uh, from like dog feces or whatever. And that's what causes them to want to own them because they're so fucking stupid, I guess, from the parasite or disease or sick in the mind or something along those lines. And that's why people have dogs because they have a parasite. (laughs) Like, it's just it's strange the the fucking leap that they make to justify their hatred. Granted, there could be very good reasons um, for you not liking dogs. Some of them, I think, are in this some of the posts that I saved. But some of the some of the hate that these people have for dogs is completely unnatural and it's just fucking pathetic. Dogs are a literal fucking curse on humanity. I'm Jewish, and to be honest, I'd rather be around a dog. Okay, at at first I thought they were going to say they would rather be around a Nazi uh, than a Nazi, unless it's an extra large bully. Okay, Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some aggressive dogs, but again, it comes down to the owner, in my opinion, to be able to train the dog. And for these people to put the blame on an animal is, is completely outrageous to me. And to to have this much hatred for an innocent animal, you know, because, I mean, 90% of the dogs out there, I feel like, aren't out there fucking mauling kids. Like, they're generalizing all dogs to be these murderous creatures. But for you to have so much hatred for an animal that is generally nice, you know, very kind, loving, and for you to, (laughs) 
to hate them that much go out of your time to write it in, in this fucking subreddit have a whole community for it it's just so fucking sad like the people on this subreddit are pathetic the only reason i think uh there you would be justified is if you were fucking traumatized if you got fucking like mauled by a dog when you were young or some shit like that then you know fair enough if you don't like dog because of that fair enough dogs exploit our parental instincts by mimicking children and forming bonds so again exploits i mean i feel like they're giving too much credit for dogs i mean they're there can be very intelligent dogs don't get me wrong like they can be very smart creatures but to assign it something like an emotion where it can be manipulative or conniving to a dog is just fucking outrageous like it's not capable of doing that it's a mutually beneficial relationship in most cases as many people are willing to sacrifice their time and their belongings for the dopamine rush i mean people just want an animal to love it's it doesn't go any deeper than that dogs aren't trying to pretend to be children or whatever bullshit this person is trying to say the dog owner asked not to bring the dog to the house party she brings it anyway here's a short story about the entitlement of the dog owners recently my friend had a party at her house her other friend whom i do not know asked if she could bring the dog she refused because she has three young children and they are scared of dogs now imagine she shows up with a dog okay well this is I, valid if you ask someone not to bring uh, your dog to their house and they still bring it anyways that's messed up like you shouldn't do that you should respect their wishes so i'm on their side when it comes to this my friend said i told you not to bring your dog because my children are scared of dogs to which she replied i thought you were joking okay so on their side the dog ran around the house leaving the fur all over the carpet and sofa the whole house smelled horrible my friend hated it she later complained about the smell for days at one point though <laughs> i mean if you didn't want the dog in your house you just should not have let them come in i mean i agree with that what them bringing the dog was a shitty thing to do but you just not have let them bring the dog inside the house you should have just let left the dog outside like tied up outside or at the backyard or told him just to bring it back home so although i do feel for you uh you're kind of a dumbass from you know letting them push you over and bring still bring the dog inside so i mean but this is fair i mean this is is fair criticism imagine a world where all the resources were given to humans instead of dogs hear me out please Imagine a world where the parents give their time and attention to raise decent human beings instead of forcing the child to share it all with an animal. I doubt, listen, I'm not a parent nor a dog owner, but I really doubt there's a majority of, of parents slash dog owners who for some reason give more attention to the dog or, or love to the dog than their actual human baby. I, I doubt that's a fucking thing that's happening by uh, in a large scale. <laughs> Imagine giving the money for the barber to homeless individuals instead of giving money to the dog barber. Fuck off, bro. People can do whatever they want with their money. How about you give all your money away? Anything that you uh, spend your money on that you do for yourself, you buy video games, you buy books, you go watch a movie, buy a fancy dinner, go give it to a homeless person fuck off people can do whatever they want with their money imagine all the money for the dog food that could be invested in food for starving folks i mean this is such a retarded argument because this can literally be said about any luxury item take away money from this thing and give it to the starving people give it to the homeless people and it's just such so fucking unrealistic like everyone's just not going to start selling their their fucking things that they like or giving away their dogs so they can have extra money just to give it to starving people i mean it's a good cause even if it is for a good cause it's not gonna fucking happen and and even then let's say people for some reason decides to fucking slaughter every single dog out there and then what you you think the money's just automatically gonna go to the starving people no the people who are saving money on that dog are gonna use it on something else it's just so weird like somehow dogs eating equals people not eating there are other ways to help starving people, but this weird method of just not having dogs as the solution is stupid and fucking unrealistic. I do not mean dogs who lead the blind or police rescue dogs. These are somehow needed for humans so that humans can be saved. There should be a good and humane reason to have dogs. Humans should be priority number one, not dogs. Bro, just let people enjoy, enjoy their life. And if someone say dogs never betrayed me, 
but dogs never did an operation on you or sewn your clothes or wrote a book damn they fucking got me they got me i i mean they're not wrong i've never seen a dog perform open heart surgery what the fuck (laughs) okay do these dog folks want to save a dog life over a human life and call us cruel it should be highly illegal to give two dogs instead of humans in need please tell me where i'm mistaken bro everything about what the fuck you said was wrong the only thing i can maybe agree with is putting a dog life over a human life i I don't agree with that one i understand loving your dog but then that's that's where you kind of draw the line uh i would put a human life over a dog life uh imagine if actual children were adopted instead of dogs imagine all the jobs that would be created for humans in place of dog what the fuck what what jobs do dogs take that humans could take what people would be seeking real help to solve their issues instead of sugarcoating it with a dog i mean some dogs are literally trained to help humans emotionally what the fuck are you on about i could go on forever but a one a wonderful world it would be yes we have a dream here these people are so fucking delusional you are not mistaken in any way. Imagine if people donated money and time to humans and, and need instead of dogs. Maybe take a lonely person for a walk or mentor a child. Or drop off food, money, and supplies to the school or another place in need that serves humans. Imagine if we stopped harming the earth with all the awful farming techniques used to get dog food so we humans could have a shot at repairing land and water needed for our survival. Imagine be able to go for a walk without dog poop and dog poop bags everywhere that end up in our water. Imagine cleaner water for humans. Like... There are so many fucking factors that go into every single problem that this person listed. And for you to attribute to them all to dogs specifically, as if dogs are the main factor causing these individual issues is so fucking stupid. Oh yeah, you know what? let's imagine that just war never happens. Let's imagine that no one's starving anymore. Let's imagine that, that people aren't killing each other. Let's imagine there's no more rapists or pedophiles or serial killers. Let's just imagine, like, what the fuck is this delusion? And this person brings up, the same point i brought up before very similar interesting topic but i must ask would that not apply to all pets which is fucking fair sure but mostly dogs they are the ones that are too deep in human culture no 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 it's just because you fucking hate dogs you're a hateful piece of shit person you're pathetic and you have nothing else to do with your life that's pretty much it yeah here's a post of people getting pissed off about a dog being at an nba game I literally wanted to break my television when they kept showing that nasty beast. They let dogs in anywhere now. I've seen his videos before. This is not a service dog. Remove the damn thing and don't even dream of pulling something like this again. As if anyone gives a shit about your opinion. Gosh, bro. All right, this is the last post because I can't take this shit anymore. Uh, Worst nightmare realized. What is it? (gasps) My mom got a dog. My mom had me and my brother young and then remarried and had two children with my stepdad in 2014 and 2016. I'm nearly 26, grown-ass woman, and haven't lived at home in a few years. In August of 2022, I moved to a small town 12 hours away for work, so I'm really only home twice a year for a few weeks at a time, at the most. I never liked dogs. They have always pissed me off with everything they do. The clicking when they walk, the breathing, the smell, the eating noises, the position in general fucking insane these people are fucking insane the most irksome i find is the stupidity that dog owners must account for who voluntarily owns an animal that would be that would gladly eat something that could kill it bro it's a it's an animal it is so beyond me anyways i feel like there are really very few places nowadays where i am safe from dogs presence some people even bring the beasts to work when they grade after hours i am a teacher it's awful. I truly cherish every place that is dog free. Today, my stepdad informs me that they got a puppy and I am devastated. I can't believe that my Christmas day is now going to be filled with slobber and barking and clicking nails while everyone goes gaga over how cute the thing is. Bro, you're such a bitch. You're such a goddamn bitch. Such a whiny little bitch, bro. Like, gosh, dang. It's standard schnoz- It's a standard schnauzer, so it's going to be a big someday and it just fills me with dread to think of this thing being there every time i want to see my family it makes me so distraught and no one in my life understands boo fucking who you little whiny baby gosh just for more context i have already felt doomed about dogs because of my dating prospects but my mom was always on my side now that even my mom has has a dog it feels like betrayal she was the one i could turn to to complain about people's dogs and now she has her own 
everyone is losing it. No, buddy, you're the one losing it. You're fucking insane getting this worked up over a dog or a tiny little animal and how worried you're about it and all the fucking OCD problems you have with a dog. It's so fucking sad. Uh, this this story summarizes how I feel about th- these people specific, the, like the people who take the dog hating like to this level, this far. You know what? Keep your opinions to yourself. Shut the fuck up. Let other people enjoy dogs. That's all I have to say. To the two people watching, thank you. Bye.